One of my biggest frustrations when I'm going somewhere new on my bike is that I never know if there's going to be parking there. Yes, you can technically lock to a tree or a post, but those are not standard size, so you don't know if your lock will fit, and they're not always as secure as a proper bike rack. We are currently working on a locking solution so that you don't even need to carry a lock, but that's still in the works, and I want to go places now with my regular lock. Since we had already started to collect data on where all the bike racks were, and because knowing if you'll have a place to lock your bike can be a big deciding factor between using your bike or something else, we decided to make a website that anybody can use to find parking for their bikes. It's completely free and super simple to use. Just go to bikeparkingfinder.com on your phone or computer. Then you simply search for a place and you can see all the parking locations around it. With these buttons, you can see where the bike paths are or the metro or bus stations in case you're combining your bike ride with transit. If you like, you can go on Street View or open the location in Google or Apple Maps to get directions. And that's kind of it. It's pretty straightforward. I know there are other websites and apps that have bike parking locations, but I couldn't find an alternative that had everything I wanted. For our version, it needed to be smooth and simple to use when you're out and about. So that means it needs to work well in mobile, but also it needs to have as many locations as possible. And that was actually the biggest technical challenge to gather information from all kinds of different sources. We gather from OpenStreetMap, which is a giant file with all sorts of user-generated info. We also got the data from the cities, and they usually put it as like a spreadsheet. Unfortunately, they all do it in different formats, so we kind of have to go city by city and do them one by one and convert them to our format. I also made a tool where you give it a location and it downloads street view images from the sidewalks in that area, and then it tries to automatically detect the bike racks. That sounded better in theory, but in practice, the bike racks are a bit too small and thin to be detected automatically in a reliable way. Plus, they're often blocked by parked cars anyway, so that ended up needing a lot of manual work, but we did use it for some areas that didn't have info from any of the other sources. Lastly, as a user, you can also suggest a location, which I do every time I see a new bike rack that I suspect is not in the map. Occasionally, you might see a location in the map with a question mark. That means that either a previous user couldn't find it or that it's a new location that someone suggested, but it just hasn't been confirmed by enough users yet. If you wish, you can vote if you see a location or not, and once enough people report it as missing or confirm that it's there, it will get either promoted to a regular location or it will get removed from the map. So from all of those data sources, we have almost half a million locations around the world, so there's a good chance that your area is in there. If you find that your area is missing or lacking in locations, you can request coverage from us and it will go in a queue and we'll try to find all the parking locations in that area using all the methods that I mentioned before. And that's it. This kind of started as a side project, but it's been really useful to me already and it's very well related to what we're doing in Stash Bikes. So uh, I hope it's really useful to you. Feel free to leave suggestions in the comments. I'll see you on the next one.